oh I think the Kappa and the Tanugi. These are gonna be both both are gonna be my favorites now. Look at these. Look at the Tanuki at the raccoons there. Oh these are amazing. And also take a look at the Kappa. These are the, the cutest thing ever. Hey everyone, this is Attackers and today I got something really cool for you. I've been waiting for this for quite a while. Um, when I backed the new expansion for Keep the Heroes Order, I also backed all the expansions for Night Parade of 100 Yokai. And I want to unbox all of that today. It's a semi unboxing because the base game and also the expansion Cursed Throne I already own them, right? So um, I will show them, I will show to you what's in here um, so you know what's in the um, one expansion and the base game. And then just the new arrived stuff that I haven't taken a look at, Kami Rising, Monkey King, and Moonlight Whispers. This is everything um, that exists for Night Parade, except for, I think, one promo that I don't own yet, I hope. Maybe I will get that at some point. And, well, let's unbox all of that. So, grab yourself a cup of tea, and let's go. Yeah, very good. That works. All right, let's start with Night Parade of 100 Yokai. This is a game for one to four players by Lewis Brew. The same designer um, also designed the excellent Keep the Heroes Out. Um, and let me just show that to you today. This is an area control game. You can also play solo. It's one to four players, um, but with the expansions, you can also add a fifth one. So we do have the rules here that are pretty um, insignificant. Like the rules are done very well, but there aren't a whole lot of rules because the game is actually very, very simple. And um, what you essentially do is you have like this island here, you have your card rows um, right here, and then you just activate one card row, do all the effects that it says there, and you're trying to um, have like the majority on these islands in order to like gain points for them. And that is almost already it. So really simple, but very, very effective. And the rules are just like and Keep the Heroes Out, well, very well designed, very well laid out, uh, lots of images and examples. So really well done. Same thing also for the rules for the Cursed Throne expansion. Um, also, these are done really well in just a similar vein here, right? All right, so let me just show to you what's in the game. So what I have done, just like in Keep the Heroes Out, I have taken the uh, factions and I've put every faction into one bag, including the cards, right? I still need to sleeve the cards. I've never done that so far. That's still something I need to do. And so let's take a look at these meeples first. So we have these, uh, these frogs here, the bears, very, very, um, very cute. Then we have the cats here and also the foxes, right? And uh, each one of them has like different ways how they actually work. Um, and then we have like these cool wooden bits here. And um, usually these are cardboard tokens, but there is an option to use like these wooden ones here. And these are like these souls and also these scrolls, I think. Um, you can gain the, those um, during your advances on the island. And another thing that we have is these tiles here. Uh, let me get all of these out. I just have so so fat fingers. That's why it's kind of hard. <laughs> there we go. You have these tiles here that you lay out in like um, in a specific shape in the middle. And this is like where you see like how many how many um, meeples you need on here, like six or five or three, in order to win over this island, right? And that is important for like end game scoring, because um, only you can get the special bonus on here if you're the first one. Um, everybody else can still gain the majority for endgame scoring, but cannot get the special bonuses. Then we have like these tiles here. These are the tiles that you put um, in front of you, like this pretty much. These three, like this. And this is where you put your cards to the right. So you can always like activate one of these rows here, right? That's how that works. Um, then also, usually the game comes with these cardboard tokens. As I showed you, I have now the wooden ones here, which is pretty cool. And then we also have cards here. And these are the cards you can get into your deck, um, like into your rows, so you can make your rows stronger. You see like these different cards here, right? And then we have the Cursed Throne expansion. And that one adds a few more things. Um, we have new tokens right here. Um, wooden tokens and also we have new cards um, because we now have like larger kami like right these larger meeples here which is pretty cool as well um, and also we have a few new cards right um, what's pretty interesting is that we also now have another element to the game you don't only have just the cards and the meeples and you walk around the islands 
but we also have like this large board here, right? Um, and you see there are two sides here. And this is like you start at the bottom, you can like kind of move up here and gain more bonuses and um, while you're playing the game. Pretty cool concept that you have now a secondary way of actually like using um, your resources or your, uh, your actions in order to do things. And that's pretty much everything you get in Night Parade and also in the Cursed Throne expansion. I hope I haven't forgotten anything. And now let's take a look at the new expansions that add a few more things. So let me just put that one aside here. And it is a goal to put everything in one box at some point, but I would have to ditch the inserts for that. So first let's take a look at the Monkey King expansion. That's like the smallest expansion we have here. And that one adds like the Monkey King. So we will have new cards here, and um, also with a few ex uh, with a few explanations how the how the um, how the, the the faction works. And I can't get this open like this, so I will have to use a knife carefully. There we go. I think that should be that should be fine. Uh, there we go. Oh man, that takes a while. So now I got it. Yeah, I'm not the best with opening packaging for board games. All right, so we have like an explanation card here, how that expansion works, and then we have new cards. Oh, these look cool. Man, these look really nice. Like the drawings, as usual, they are just great. Very cool. Ah, here we have the Monkey King. Very cool. These are probably the starting cards. Yeah, nice. Very, very cool. Why are there so many cards? I don't quite know why there are so many cards. I guess the others you just shuffle. Ah, these you sh Oh, wait. Oh. Interesting. There are three sets. Okay, interesting. Fading Magic. Uh, Ronin Yokai Clan. Ah, so I see. So you can actually uh, change a few things there. Okay, that's interesting. And then here we have like the Monkey Meeple. Oh, they're kind of hard to see on camera, I think, because they're very, very light. Oh, they're very light. These are kind of hard to see. Maybe if I tilt it like this, you can kind of see it. Yeah, it's like better to see in person, but even uh, even in real life, it's quite light. But very cool, all right. And then you all, we also have the Tori here, right? Uh, the skates just in yellow. So that is the yellow player then. Very cool. All right, looking forward to giving that one a whirl. I'm looking forward to see how that one plays. And then we have two more expansion here, expansions, two of the larger ones. Let's take the Kami Rising first. That one adds two new clans, so two new factions, um, game modes, and more cards. So not too much, actually. So that should be, shouldn't be too much added, actually. Come on, come on. Can I get this opened? I hope so. There we go. I need a lot of sleeves still for the game. Yeah, there isn't too much in here. We have new tokens in here, but these are the tokens I have as wooden ones already, so I might not even need those. Then here we have the two new factions. Let's take a look at those. Uh, there we go. So we have the purple and the red faction here. Very cool. And for that we have the birds here. Very, very cute. And also we have like these small purple foxes. Nice. <laughs> love those. Very cute. Like I, like, I love the birds. These are amazing. Um, and then let's take a look at the cards as well. Uh, I think they will not change too much, but let's just take a look at them and see. There we go. So here we have the cards, yeah. So these are the ones for the birds. Oh, they kind of stick together here. Oh, oh, they stick together. Oh, no. Oh, they're kind of broken here. All right. Oh, I'll have to... Like maybe ask Luz if I can get an, get a replacement there. Oh yeah, something happened here. But apart from that, yeah, very cool designs as usual, right? Very, very cute designs. Oh, something happened here, but very cool. Look at these designs. Oh, this, oh, this one is amazing. Uh, as usual, like the graphic designs here for his cards are just great. They are just wonderful. Oh, wow, look at this one here. This one is pretty cool. Yeah, very, very cool designs. Oh, we have new goal cards. Oh, interesting. Ah, uh, maybe, oh, these are added. I see, interesting, okay. Yeah, okay, well, this one is pretty cool as well. 
Oh, the rabbit is cool. This ninja rabbit kind of thing. Yeah, I need to have to. I have to take a look into the entire lore here. I mean, there's like into the like Japanese legends and stuff. There's like a lot. This is a modded after for sure. Okay, well, that's the Kami Rising expansion. That one doesn't add a whole lot, except for the new clans, uh, like new abilities for that as well, and new hidden plots, as I said, and the new Kami cards. So it doesn't really like add a whole lot. Okay. But it adds just a little bit, and that's fine. I like that. I actually don't want expansions to like to completely change the rule set, right? I want to be able to play with all the expansions at the same time without the game becoming too complex, right? So that works well. And then here we have Moonlight Whispers expansion. Oh, let's just take a. Ah, uh, we can also take a look here. What is added here? So we have two new clans again. We have the Kappa finally and the Tanuki. Very cool. Uh, we have new tiles, new cards, and new hidden plots. It's pretty similar to what we just had here. So um, we actually have new tiles now. Very cool. And you see they have like more like new items here, uh, new symbols here. Very cool. And these are the night, the night side here. Okay, I see. Okay, cool. And then here we have the two new clans. So we have now gray and green gates uh, right here. Green, green gates, nice. And then here, oh, I think the Kappa and the Tanuki. These are gonna be both. Both are gonna be my favorites now. Look at these. Look at the Tanuki at the raccoons there. Oh, these are amazing. And also take a look at the Kappa. These are the, the cutest thing ever. Yeah, they don't really look like Kappa, right? But I kind of know what they go, what they are going, going with here. And then we also have uh, these cards here. Can I open them? No. Let's just take a look at them, just uh, not in detail, but a little bit and see how these look like. I definitely will have to order some sleeves today. Very cool. Look at these, how cute these are. Oh, these are adorable. Oh, very cool. Yeah, nice designs here. Very, very nice designs. I would have to take a look at all these Japanese legends because some of them I know, some of them I don't. Very cool. Oh, this one looks very creepy. Very cool. The new, the new uh, Tory cards, and these are probably some of the starting cards here for the new factions. I guess yeah. Here the Kappa with like the bowl on the head, right? With the water in there, which they need in order to survive. Yeah, very cool. I like that. So it's not it's not a whole lot in these expansions, which is great. So I think this can all be easily integrated into the main game, which is amazing. All right, yeah. Well, and that already concludes my unboxing of Night Parade of 100 Yokai and all of the expansions. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was fun. Well, thank you so much for watching and for seeing to the very end. A big thanks to all of you for your support, especially I want to give a shout out to my generous patrons. And big thanks go out to Thagano and Ryan Hall for supporting me at the highest tier. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate that. You can support me by watching, liking and commenting on my videos, by subscribing to my channel if you enjoy my content enough, by supporting me on Patreon if you wish to do so, and by joining my Discord server to hang out with me and my amazing community. All right, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the very next video. Take care, everyone. Stay safe and cheers.